Hi, I'm Trey Ratcliff. I'm here in the Southern Alps taking photos and I am obsessed with photography, like obsessed in an unhealthy way. I'm so obsessed, in fact, that I partnered up with MacFun to make the best photo editing software in the world for HDR. We're now on our 10th iteration and it's been so popular that it's been used to make over 100 million HDR photos. Just incredible. This latest iteration is available for Mac and PC and both are packed with the exact same features. Aurora HDR 2018 allows you to take the beauty of the world around you and make a beautiful photo using this very easy to use software. I'll meet you at the bottom of the mountain in my studio and I'll take you through a whole end-to-end -end demo so you can see how powerful and fun this software is. Well, hello. Uh, welcome back to my studio. We're going to do an end-to-end -end demo here so I can show you how easy and fun this tool is. Now, for this one, we're going to put in three photos. These have to be three JPEGs, although you don't have to put in bracketed photos. You can put in a single raw photo, you can put in a series of raw photos, whatever you want, okay? So this is sort of an internal structural shot, sort of an architectural shot. This is from Barcelona, from La Sagrada Familia. All right, so I've turned on alignment here, and now I'm going to click Create HDR. All right, while that cake is baking away, let me show you some before and afters. This is in Kabukicho, Tokyo. It's a landscape scene, a little reflection shot. Beautiful Italy at night. Here's a street scene from Puerto Rico and San Juan. Some beautiful rolling hills. This one had some ghosting, which was corrected with Aurora HDR 2018 with the blowing lupins. Here's a cartoony one from Osaka. Here's my hometown of Queenstown, New Zealand. And here's a shot taken from a single raw photo. Okay, welcome inside. Now, even though this is a very powerful tool, let me begin by showing you the easy way to use it, okay? And the easiest way to use it, and this is for beginners and beyond, is just to use the presets. So down here at the bottom, you can see all these different presets, right? And there are preset categories. If you click this, this opens up various different categories. Because this happens to be an architecture shot, we'll go click on architecture right here, and then this will repopulate along the bottom with all these different presets. So let's just try some different ones. Let me click on architecture bright and see how that looks. That looks pretty nice. Um, one of the greatest things about Aurora HDR is that you can make it however you want. You can make it look super cartoony HDR-y, or you can have it be very realistic. Um, I'm all over the place, according to me. Uh, that's okay. Sometimes I'm just in a super HDR mood and sometimes I'm not. And let's say you find one that is like a little bit, you know, over the top, like you might think, right? Like this one, uh, Architecture HDR Look 2. There is this amount slider that I can click on and I can adjust it down so it doesn't have to be that high, right? So that's another great thing about the presets is that you can adjust all this stuff how you wish, all right? Now, now that we've done that, let me show you a little bit more under the hood if you want to make some more adjustments. So up here in the UI, you can see this is the presets panel. So if I click that, that will go away. This one brings in all these panels from the right side, and this is kind of where the real power is. And I encourage you just to have fun with these tools, play with them like a little kid. Don't be intimidated, right? You're not going to make any mistakes. Um, right up here on the top, let me introduce you to this section. This is the layers section. Now, again, it's not necessary to use all these different things, but I like to use layers because sometimes I like part of my photo to have a lot of texture, a lot of color, a lot of HDRness, and maybe other parts of the photo I want to be more smooth, right? I like to have a transition. So this is one great thing about layers is you can do different things in different parts of the photo, all right? So let's start sliding down these uh, panels here and see what's going on. Uh, up here on top, this is HDR Basic. And if you've used other versions of Aurora HDR, you might see we have a new UI, uh, all kinds of new powerful controls. One of my favorites is this one called HDR Enhance. Okay, So you can adjust it to whatever degree you want to, up or down. Usually you can go up to 50 and not get any halos or anything like that. So that looks pretty good. Smart Tone is cool because Smart Tone will just bring up the shadows, okay, and it won't affect anything else, all right? Or go the opposite way, it'll just bring down the highlights and won't affect anything else, okay? I'm just going to pull it up just a little bit. All right, now let me show you maybe one of my favorite areas. This is HDR Structure, and this will allow you to take your HDRness to whatever you want, okay? 
So you can see I could really amp it up here. I could take the amount all the way to 99. Um, I could take down the softness all the way, which of course means it's sharper. I could add some more boost and you can see it's just kind of going a little HDR on drugs. Uh, if I want to reset this whole section, I just click this little reset button here and it takes it back to normal. Image radiance. May, I keep saying they're my favorite panels, but this one is something else, okay? So image radiance kind of gives it that fairy tale glow. So watch as I amp that thing up, look at that. This is new, we added shadows in here so you can pull up the shadows because sometimes, I noticed in the previous version, as you would increase image radiance, it would like take darker parts and make them kind of gloomy, a little too gloomy. And if I'm gonna do a fairy tale glow, I don't want any gloom. Okay. HDR details boost. This is pretty fancy, okay? I just got off a call with the head engineer at Mac Fun, Dima, and he was telling me more about this because I'm like, what's going on with this HDR details boost and how does it differ from HDR microstructure? Well, you can really think of this as sharpness, okay? In fact, now that I know about this, I'm gonna go back and reprocess some of my photos. Um, so you can just play with this on your own, play with a small, medium, and large, a little bit oomph, goes a long way. Um, also, if you want to see what an area is doing, you see this little eyeball here, you can just turn that on and off just to see the adjustments that were made. All right, so let's look at overall before and after. Uh, this is the before, this is the middle exposure, and then after having some fun, it looks like this. All right, how fun is that? Man, this is the funnest tool. You're gonna have a ball with it. Um, I can't wait to get it into your hands. Um, if you have any questions, let me know in the YouTube comments um, or wherever you see this Facebook comments. I guess we'll put it everywhere and click down below to get it right now. All right. Thanks. You guys are awesome. And I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye.